All right, so back to this. Yeah, part 70, you know, 70 degrees out right now. Funny thing, and it actually did have me thinking, like, at what part will we actually finish? I'm At first, I was thinking, well, I guess if I wouldn't have kind of, what would you call it, gone down to 40 minutes, maybe 80. But I'm thinking now it might be close to like 90, you know. I don't think we'll reach triple digits. That'd be insane if we did. You know, just the sheer amount of time that would get put into here. But again, it's 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 something to where it's like, I think the big thing with that is, uh, again, like I said, we'll see, you know, it seems like we're trucking along, you know, that we're moving, you know, going forth in the, uh, mon, the route. So, I mean, we'll see. We, we know roughly where we are in the timeline. So roughly how much time there should be left. But again, it's like, we'll, we'll need to see. We're at the point, again, interesting point to where it's kind of like we're now seeing we're seeing everything kind of branch out and seeing like, okay, you know, what potential, you know, story plans are going to get explored. And again, overall, just it will be interesting to see again, where it ends up and where we go from here. Right. You know, it's like this, that's the big thing that I just want to point out. Um, again, I will say that the MC it's pretty interesting. He's already kind of learned the truth regarding Natsuki, you know, in her home life situation, um, I guess we confirmed that her mother isn't dead, you know, but which was weird because I'm pretty sure that's what she said in Yuri's route, if unless I'm mistaken. But again, who knows? Maybe she's just cover it, and that's the big thing is suspicion whether or not she's actually holding back and kind of covering up some stuff from the MC. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, specifically because the way they portray him, it seems as though he wasn't malicious in any way, shape, or form, but obviously she could just be lying, you know, covering that part up. But it's also something where it's like it would make sense, but again, you know, we won't know until later on, I guess, right? And, you know, it's something to where we see there, like, what it uh, ends up coming down to. That's the big thing. So, with that, what that ends up doing there is, um, yeah, again, basically just we'll, we'll see, you know, whether or not, I guess, our sneaking suspicions are proven to be founded or not, right? You know, that's the big thing there. And then if they are, okay, how he react, you know, what will happen? And if they're not, okay, you know, then I guess how do they improve her current situations? Her issues are, again, you know, aren't necessarily with herself, but more so others, right? Let's put it that way. But again, we'll see. Also be interested in, you know, next choice we get, because we got three choices, you know, pretty up front. Um, but we haven't had a choice since, so it'll be interesting to see the next choice we get, um, especially since these three are fairly no-brainer. And then it'll be interesting to see, okay, which choices make a difference? We're one for one for two right now in terms of endings. We got the good ending for Zeroes and the bad for Yuri. So, you know, it'll be interesting. We'll see uh, from there on out how we end up getting there. And again, you know, what it'll come down to, but we need to reach that point first. So, and then going back to this again, they're in this store, right? And again, they're getting the uh, gifts, right? So the big thing with that being, and as I mentioned, it's interesting that, you know, it's just, convenient that he's getting gifts with her right you know uh given that they can kind of you know kill two birds with one stone they can follow up on this you know again because they would even play more of a role more of a part in Nazi girl than she did in Yuri's so they can continue off this conversation but also kind of address the elephant of the room which is what it seems like they did but obviously you know much more I guess like casually uh, then as if in Yuri's route where it was just one and done, but now it's kind of like he's touching on it. But again, I shouldn't speak louder than words. You can say, you could like, you can say anything. It's easy to lie. It's easy to tell people what they want to hear. Like, you know, I'm not sure if like people realize this, like, not. like you can just tell people what they want to hear, you know, it's, it's easy. It's easy to lie. Right. But like actually changing and doing stuff much harder, but we'll see again what it comes down to. So look, there is candy. Well, no shit, sure. You're at a fucking candy store. Like, Jesus Christ. So, Tetzel's... A... Yeah, so is that it? And again, because... <coughs> Jesus Christ. Still a little sick. But I will say, definitely on the tail end. Which is good. Definitely a good thing. But it's like, uh, you know, what would you call it again? We're seeing here, I guess, uh, 
what's the term? Also, let me funny, funny thing. This completely off topic. And I just remembered. So I have a watch alarm, right? That you might hear it in the background because I'm messing with it right now. I have a watch alarm that I set in the morning and along with my phone alarm. The reason being because it's kind of like a backup in case for whatever reason my phone alarm doesn't go off. And so I can acclimate myself to gain up this to the sound of my watch because I set it one minute ahead of my phone alarm just for when I'm like working and like wearing my watch, right? And I need to use that to set an alarm um, in case I don't have like my phone on me or something, right? And I'm not home. So the big... That's the big thing there, but it's something to where I need to manually turn it off. If I set the alarm at a time, it'll go off, but I'll obviously turn off the alarm, but the alarm is still set for the next day. So I got back yesterday um, and then freaking, uh, what was it? Yeah, I had gotten back yesterday and then I forgot to turn my watch alarm off. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to sleep and get a ton of sleep. And lo and behold, in the morning, I'm waking up to my fucking watch alarm at like 5 a.m., it's like, damn, well, sleep ruined, I guess. But I turned it off, went back to bed, and got it like 10. So, but completely off topic, but I just wanted to uh, point that out. And again, they're getting utensils, right? For uh, That's for Monica. So, no, not for Monica. That's for Natsuki. So, it's a way off. Oval spoon, slot, spatula, corner spoon, rubber scraper, rolling pin. Only 1665. That's what, you know, let's let's do the math, right? Yeah, well, we know she couldn't afford fucking 50,000 or what was it, 60,000. Um, it's about 12 bucks or 13. <clears throat> Again, Christmas deals, because that's when everyone's going to be shopping, you know. I'm a cooking winner. Well, no shit. I wonder who made you that. So, says we'll have to cook together. Bitch cook what? Fucking meth, like freaking Reagan meth, but it's like, and it's interesting that he's saying this, and this is what I'm point I want to point out, like, because again, like this is like because obviously, you know, she still occupies the important role, but again, the issue being sort of a lack of awareness on his part, and I guess a lack of kind of transparency between them at this point, and again, you know, the fact that they're just now reconnecting, right, and reconvene. So him saying this stuff, you know, because the issue being, you know, it's what she wants, but again, it's sort of the mentality behind it, right. Is that, you know, it's not as she's, I guess, not the primary figure in his life anymore, right? I guess is a good way to put it. Um, so it'll never be in that sense as like how he would cook with Natsuki, which is what she would want. Again, for him, it's just different there, which is the issue, right? So, and again, right? A good recipe, but I'm sure you can make it. Just don't burn down the house like you used to. So it's obvious. I'm surprised you didn't bring that up, but... Appreciate the chocolate. Fucking starved. Get her fucking, you know, some like protein bars. Like, yeah, to get both, dude, it was only 17 bucks. Like, you can afford it. Apparently, she's broke as fucking can, but, you know, or you could just like stop by like a tea place or something, you know. I'm all right. I'm kind of tired. She's like, oh, I'm fucking exhausted. So take a fucking nap. And then again, you know, the walk back, right? And then, huh? And yeah, you know, because, well, we, we know the how the Halloween thing is it's the same regardless, right? But Christmas, it looks the same as they always do the Secret Santa thing, but it's slightly different regarding, you know, depending on which route you're on. So it'll be interesting to see how it is in uh, this route there. So, and again, it's fun, you know. Um, and again, right? And I wish it wasn't long periods of time, dude. That's on you. You it doesn't need to be this way, you know. Um, like you can just spend more time with them, right? So, yeah, this is a terrible idea. But you know, if you're not hanging out with Nancy, no reason not hanging out with her. So, dude, that's a terrible idea. But just and again, it's not what you would really want either. What neither of them would want. Let's be real. So, again, it's times like this. Like this is what they want. So, and again, freaking a uh, transition. So, is this a dream? You're fucking. Is this really? Are we really doing a dream scene? This is a fucking dream sequence. Shut the fuck up. This this isn't real. I'm calling it. It's a dream sequence. One hundred percent. Like no music. Fucking waking you up in your room. Dream sequence. You can't fool me. It'll wake you up. Christmas party. Dead ass. Wait, wait. Two two questions. Two questions. Uh, two questions. Right. One. How the fuck did she get inside? Right? Like, that's not a normal thing. You don't just fucking wake somebody up in their fucking, you know, bedroom, like, unannounced. Like, even, like, buddies. Okay, buddies, like, I can see you, like, fucking with each other. But it, it still raises the question, how the fuck did you get in the house? You know, that's a little sauce, you know, for 
them right there, right? That's the first thing. Second off, how the, f- like, on the one fuck, I swear to God, like, there's no way you're that much of a fuck up. A, there's no way the party, the whatever, starts that early. There's zero chance. Like, you'd think that'd be an evening thing. Second, how would you, like, fuck up that much on that day? Like, do you just not settle? Like, I, I genuinely don't know. Like, there's no way you would fuck up that much on a day like that. So, yeah, you fucking dumbass. So, dude. That's why, why, I don't understand how his fuck, how, dude, you live in, like, a literal, like, big empty house. Like, how the fuck is it always messy? How does it always get messy? It feels like you always clean it, and then it always just gets messy again. Like, there's no way you have that much shit as the only guy living there. Like, there's zero fucking chance. Yeah, you're welcome. Damn, that's crazy. But how, I just still don't understand how it gets that messy to begin with. Like, if you're, li- like, here's the thing, let's put it this way, right? If you're living in a small, like, place, right, small house, you know, whatever, something like that, it's something to where it's easier for it to get, let's put it this way, it's easier to get messy because there's less space, right, you know, it's more congested, more crowded, you got more shit to fit into, so, like, again, you know, that I can understand, but if you're living in, like, a giant empty house, there's no way it's getting that messy, like, and it seems like every single fucking time it's, like, it's like, oh, I need to clean up. Like, dude, how? Like, there's no, like, genuinely, like, genuinely confused there. It's like, there's no way this, it's like this common of an occurrence. There's just zero chance. So, dude, I don't, like, there's, like, come on. Like, and it's like, because here's the thing, I'm not the cleanest. I'm pretty clean. I'm relatively clean. Like, I'm relatively, like, neat and, like, what would you call it, organized <laughs> and orderly. But that's because literally the way I do is I just I have trash cans that I put trash into. I don't leave trash lying around. And then everything I own has a place. And when I use it and I'm done with it, it goes back in that place. It's like genuinely like, not you know, that crazy of a concept. You know, even when I get more and more shit, I just have more and more places for them. And I know where they are. So it's like, like, I pretty much know everything I own. And like know where it is. And it's like, this isn't like me trying to flex. It's like, it's just the easiest way to go about, you know, doing it. Cause then you don't ever have to clean because it's like it never gets dirty to begin with. But like there's no way. Like it's like, is it genuinely feels like every single fucking time? Like he's like, oh, you know, it's messy, I have to clean. Like, dude, what happened to the last time you cleaned it? Like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, you know, it's like, dude, were you fucking drinking last night? Like how do you just like have zero memory of this? He's like, he just blacks out. Like, dude, there's, he is genuine. Like memory. Do you have like dementia? Do you have Alzheimer's? Like, yeah, dude, dude, how do you, I swear there's no way it's this much of an issue. Like, even if you're fucking staying up late, it's like, dude, there's no way you just have this terrible, like fucking like memory loss. It's like, what the actual fuck there's this, there's no way like, there's zero chance. What do you mean? Dude, what the actual fuck? I swear, there's no way. Like, there's no way. Like, if this is you, like, if you are in his position here, you're a genuine fucking failure. Like, there's no way it's this bad. Because if 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 she would have said, like, two or, like, one, if she would have said, like, two or something, I'm like, okay, you know, you can kind of come some slack, right? Maybe stay up late. Dude, five? There's no way he slept, like, there's zero chance that he slept till, like, four. In that, you know, he didn't fucking prepare. I swear, he's just a, you are a complete fucking failure if you let this happen. Like, and we know he wasn't drinking, right? Like, okay, if you, well, first off, you're a dumbass for that. Like, the day before, fucking, you know, massive, like, party you planned out. Like, that's, you're an idiot for that. Second off, it's like, at least you have that excuse. He doesn't have that excuse. Like, you're just a fucking failure if you let this. If it gets to this point, you let this happen, you're a failure. Dude, there's no... Dude, there's no fucking way. There's no way. Like, I I fail to believe, like, this... Unless you, like, literally work, like, night shifts. There's no way it gets this bad to this point. Mm. Because even when I was at my worst... Not when I was staying up till like 3 or 3.30 and getting up at 11. When I'd stay up the whole night, go work out in the morning, and then sleep and nap afterwards, right? It was, that was my absolute worst. I'd still get up at like 1.30 p.m. 
Like that was like the latest. There's no way this dude's getting up at four. Like you're you're like you're literally like there's no way. I refuse to believe. I I genuinely refuse to believe, dude. You got one hour. It's how it like, listen, if you let it get to this point, you just fucking failed. Like, you just need to accept it. You just need to be like, all right, you know, I fucking failed. Uh, we can try again next time. Like, there's no saving this. There's no saving this situation. Like, you shouldn't have gotten to this point to begin with. Like, yeah, what do you mean? We like, uh, you fucking dumbass. You're the one who fucking set this up. You're he's actually like such an idiot. Like, there's no way it's there's like a dude. I swear to God, there's, yeah. You, what do you, you're, he's actually so, like, I swear. But here's the thing. I know people like this in real life. <laughs> I know people like this. Where they legit just have, like, zero plan or preparation. They'll just wing everything. And it's like, dude, like, and then they're like, oh, I'm kind of stressed right now. Yeah, no shit. Like, you shouldn't have let it get to that point to begin with. Hmm. That's your problem, right? It's like, I, I completely fail to understand how, like, like, you just, like, genuinely need, like, and this, it's almost like you just have a lack of, like, survival instinct. Like, I hate to say it, like, if this is you, and, like, this is how you act and go about doing things, like, you generally lack, like, survival instinct. Like, at this point, it's like, there's, it, it's just, I can't wrap my brain around, like, stuff like this. Yeah, and you're a fucking dumbass for, there's... I don't even think, like, if I tried, like, unless I just straight up deprived myself of sleep for, like, days and then slept, like, I don't think I could sleep into that long. Like, even if, because assuming I go to bed when it's still dark out and not when the sun comes up, like, at, like, what, five or six or whatever, go to bed as late as possible before sunrise, you know, if I just did not set an alarm, I still don't think I could sleep till four. Like, I could sleep till 2, maybe. I don't think I'm sleeping till 4. Dude, there's zero way. There's no way. It's, like, unless I just straight up deprive myself of sleep for, like, nights on end. There's just zero fucking way this is happening. Like, this has happened. It's like, there's... Yeah, you're an idiot. You're Yeah, you're an idiot. He's a genuine idiot. Because, like, if he would have actually been like, okay, you know, like, and it's... This is, like, basic stuff. Like, this is, like, very basic stuff. Dinner's a different thing. But he's like, okay, maybe I shouldn't go to bed late the day before. And maybe I should get up somewhat early the day before, you know, on, or on the day so I can take care of things. Like, dude, I, I just, okay, you know, get some fucking KFC. Fucking, uh, our countries don't get fast food. Yeah, because what is that, in the East? Fucking, for, in the West, yeah, we generally treat it like, thanksgiving obviously different food right and i guess well thanksgiving isn't a fucking holiday everywhere either but again usually like what, what's i guess ham would be like the main that'd be like the main course main meal and then you'd have like a ton of like side dishes similar like thanksgiving thanksgiving obviously turkey instead right and then you have all your like side dishes which you know you got staples but it can honestly be whatever but and then i guess the big thing christmas is, can kind of be whatever too thanksgiving is much more like okay, yeah, you're having a Thanksgiving dinner, but Christmas, it's kind of like, it can honestly kind of be like whatever. But it's generally like you don't get like fucking fast food. You know, what do you get? Fucking Popeyes? <laughs> fucking Christ. You know, at least get like KFC or something like higher end, I guess. Uh, what would you call it? Uh, family always did. Your family sounds fucking, uh, you know, lazy, right? Each their own. But it's like, again, it's, you know, whatever traditional holidays, so. Old Christmas memories, dude. You should be rushing to do so. Well, actually, no, at this point, it doesn't even fucking matter. You just failed. Like, he just needs to be like, everyone needs to come over. He needs to be like, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I woke up like an hour ago. That's on me. Like, there's, I, I just don't understand. Like, there's no way. There's zero. And about, uh, he's like, you're a genuine failure. Like, people like this are genuinely what, like, honest to God, like, are what are what's preventing the world from being, like, you know, like, optimal, <laughs> like, you know as efficient as it could be like we could have so much more development and progress being made if it weren't for people like this like genuinely speaking like it's it's like if this is you like you're a failure like i don't know what to say like people like this are probably my biggest pet peeve because like when you work with them and have to deal with them it's like you're just like freaking going against like the current it's like because you can't get them to do anything because they just lack any sort of like survival instinct you know like that's genuinely what this is dude 
you're a fucking failure. Like you're you're a failure. Like you're a failure. You're a failure. It's like it's called it's Christmas, you fucking dumbass. Dude, he's <sighs> what idea? And shoot. Okay, but like that's that's fine, but it's like, dude, you're already late. Like, you know, <clears throat> you're already late. It's ain't it's not gonna matter. What do you mean? Is it what do you mean? Is a throwaway idea? You don't need to run this by her. She's not your approval authority for this shit. You can do it yourself. Like you don't, like A, you're not even in a fucking committed relationship yet. B, this literally this isn't something you need to ask her, right? You can literally just go and do it. Like is you don't need to fucking bring every single idea, but you know, just go and do it. Right. You know, it's like, it's going to come with us. Yeah. That's what it's like. You didn't even need to fucking run by her. You could just be like, Hey, I'm bringing Seahorn with us. Is that cool? Like, and you know, it's not like you don't need to ask, you know, brand granted, bring it up, but it's like, you know, dude, you don't need to worry about that. You genuinely don't, you know, you dude, it's you're going, it's not that serious. It's a hundred percent not that serious, you know. Yeah, dude, it's it's not that serious. Like you don't need to fucking, you know, it's you're fucking getting dinner. Like, you know, you're not even like eating out, you're just getting it. So dude, literally I swear, like the lack of planning on his part is insane. Why not just fucking te you're actually like Yeah, one second. Dude, it's five PM. Yeah, what do you mean? That's why I'm like, there's no way. There's no way. Like, th this is literally like, it's not just, not only is it still uncommon, it's just a completely idiotic thing. Dude, you, like, come on. Like, there's just, there's no way people, people like this fucking exist. Like, I, I know they do, but it's just, it's so hard to wrap my brain around. Like, I like to sleep in, don't get me wrong, but like, it's just everything that has happened up until this point, it feels like just, the worst possible thing that could have fucking happened, you know, <laughs> within reason. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Yeah, it's like, yeah, and you know, no reason not to, right? It's like, oh, sure, you know, I'm surprised you don't have it already. And she's like, I'm surprised you don't have it already. It doesn't start in like 20 minutes. <laughs> like, you know, dude, like you're going to need to walk anyway. So don't, dude. It's not that serious. If it's if she has a problem with it, that's her problem, right? You know, it's like it ain't that serious. You don't need to like deal with this, right? You know, you don't need to deal with her. Okay, leave. Yeah, bye. See ya. No one fucking cares. Go back. You know. Yeah, bye. See ya. You know. Fucking Christ. Uh, no, she's not because she's being fucking. Uh, she's being an idiot. So yeah. Uh, yeah, bye. See ya. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Like that's why it's like, dude. Like one of the big things I don't understand, right? Here's the thing. They're mutual friends. Like, I don't know how to put it. They literally fucking know each other and go to the same fucking club. They, they're they literally mutual friends. Like, you know the history between them and, you know, how much they mean to each other, you know, and again, you know, everything that's happened between them, right? <laughs> you shouldn't be a surprise that, you know, they're still good friends, you know, and that they like to spend time with each other again. It's like I I don't understand how this is such a crit. Like, granted, if they weren't mutual friends, it'd be more justified. But it's like they literally know each other. You know, again, it's, there's no way like it's it's that big. Like you shouldn't be surprised. You know about this. Like, and especially for something so small, is going to pick up fucking dinner. Like that's such an arbitrary thing. It's literally like a task. You're not even eating dinner. You're just going to pick it up. And it's like, it's that big of a deal. Like you're genuinely insecure if that's the case. Like the gaslighting going on, it's, it was the same thing with Arad. Just the amount of gaslighting is just insane. Like, dude, like, and again, uh, but we know again, is he, he had spiled, but it's like, dude, like she's a genuine like idiot. Like, they're mutual friends. She knows, like, you know, the history between them, right? So, like, in for such a small fucking task like this to get, like, so, like, fucking... They're not... To get so strung up on, they're not even in an official fucking relationship. Like, they're not... Like, I don't know how to put it. They're not fucking together yet. Like, even if they were, it's like... 
you know how fucking close they are, you know, and how they've been childhood friends, you know, they've known each other since forever. It's perfectly like this is such like the like you're genuinely being like gaslit right now. Like fucking he's genuinely being like, you know, like this is borderline like manipulation on her part, right? Like let's be real here. So okay, damn, that's crazy. Um, you know, who cares? Right? You know, okay, yeah, right. So, you know, okay. Stupid. But obviously, you know, we know he can't tell her because it's about her own fucking issues, right? Mm. And beyond that, something where it's like, obviously, she's a person of interest. Wait, hold, wait, 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 stop, stop. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> okay, now, now we came somewhere interesting. Because again, and I was as I was just saying, you know, he can't fucking, you know, what would you call it? He can't tell her because again, a by her deeper issues, b she's also a person of interest there, so can't really tell her there. But obviously, she's need all she needs to know is that there's a fight, and again, she's not an idiot. She can probably figure out what it was about, at least regarding her being the person of interest. And again, the big thing is that you know he's kind of dropping this on her, and I want to say that's like, whoa, dude, like, whoa, whoa what are you saying? Like saying this out of nowhere, you know. You shouldn't be saying this, right? Or that's like, you know, this is coming out of nowhere. And that's like, you sure? But again, you know, we know how close they are, you know, and how long they've known each other. Again, so it kind of makes sense for him to like bring this up, especially if he's like that sure, like some, I guess, that comfortable with his like feelings. Like again, bring it up with her, like, I guess is a way to, I guess, cement that. And again, for someone like her, it makes sense, right? You know, keeping it on the down low and she probably could figure that out anyway or that you know that that was eventually going to be the case given that again you know he before he's like oh no we're not named but obviously no we're reaching that point and that's just a stepping stone but again so yeah but that's pretty you know just i don't want to say out of the blue but it's like yeah you know it's just like damn you know you bring this up but obviously gets to kind of divert attention from her situation but obviously you know we know where this is going. Like him just addressing the alpha in the room, right? And confirming her probably sneaking suspicions. But it's like, again, you know, it's like, but obviously he doesn't know what this kind of means to her. And again, it's just a confirmation. But it's like, again, it'll be interesting to see how she reacts to this. But it's like, you know, again, it's like, damn, I guess, again, I don't blame him, right? It's like, you know, I, I figure this would happen eventually. It's like, you know, it, it seems like at first it's like, dude, like, what are you saying? Like, where are you? But it's like, again, given how much they knew each other, right? And if she really means it is in kind of that position, as opposed to, let's say, Yuri's route, where it's like, they just never fucking talked, you know, if she actually means like, is like a close friend to him, like, it would make sense for him to bring this up with her, right? Also to kind of gauge her thoughts, you know, and opinions on it, right? So, of course, we know what that will kind of do to her and her psyche, right? And what that means to her but obviously he doesn't because he's oblivious about that so mm -hmm. even if he has his sneaking suspicions it wouldn't be something that would deny him from doing this and plus he could kind of confirm or deny i guess like gauge again kind of her thoughts and feelings opinions feelings there so mm -hmm. yeah overall just really interesting to hear that this is just He's just dropping this. But again, it's like keeping it on the down low, you know. And she would be the one that it would make sense. Because I don't believe, funny enough, on Sior's route, he didn't, well, she fucking, you know, basically, you know, ended up asking him. On Yuri's route, granted, everyone kind of figured it out because he just took so fucking, it was basically like confirmed again, you know, it was, it was kind of blatantly obvious, right? They weren't really hiding it. But again, he held off. So they, they figured it out. So Yuri fucking even confirmed it herself, right? You know. But I'd say, as you're out, like, this makes sense, you know, him going to her, you know, with how kind of upfront direct he's been, you know, and straightforward, being like, hey, I plan on doing this, you know, where, like, it, it makes sense because, you know, gauging them right before you do is, like, a smart thing, and especially someone like her, again, I doubt he'd do it with the club, that's, like, you know, for at least for her, right? And again, you can see the reaction there, right? Because, again, obviously, she's not even comment about, oh, this is a good or bad idea. Rather, it's like, that's good for you, right, you know? Because again, him, like he kind of has some seeming suspicions, but again, maybe this is a point to try to gauge him out and then confirm or deny, but, and again, but the thing being like, that's like, 
what's the point here? Like, how is this lead into, okay, you know, their fight? How is this lead into, okay, is he trying to gauge her reaction? But so, okay, never mind. There's just, he's just, that's all he's talking about at this point. So, oh, I thought, I thought he said like you, and I'm like, wait, 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 wait. It's like, and then again, her saying this, but the point being, unfortunately, now she knows because of that, it's too late, right? You know, this was granted again, still on her sneak suspicions. Technically, what would you call it? You know, wouldn't have been too late there, but because he directly came out and stated this, can't really, right? You know, the moments pass, the times pass, and so unfortunately, she failed there uh, on her part. But and then again, him, he didn't even pick up on that, right? He's like, wait, you know, you were you were thinking of someone like that, you know? Because obviously, you know, he's told her, right? So it only, I guess, he would expect there was replicate, but obviously, she can't do that, right? <laughs> Which sucks for her, you know. It'll be interesting. Because in yours, he he actually did end up finding out, you know, so he were like, it, granted, you know, took the fucking message in the manga, basically telling him, but he figured it. So it'll be interesting to see if he ends up finding out. Um, no, that's a And again, you know, he's thinking, because again, we know on Sior's route, it was literally during the Chris party where she asked him, you know, and then Yuri's route, you know, they, it wasn't confirmed till like afterwards, right? But again, he's like thinking about it now, like it's in the works, so. And then again, something towards like, you know, Tita, but the issue being again, they're fighting, I guess, her kind of, but it's like, dude, Natsuki's a complete fucking idiot for that, so just don't want to say, again, you know, but the problem being again, you know, because and, and then this again comes down to that borderline like manipulation, so it's like, you know, if she really, you know, doesn't want to be a Sayori that much, right? You know, but the question is, if, if she, Sayori is still that close to a friend and means that much to you, right? You you have to stand up for yourself, right? And her, so it's like, you know, and then again, there's no boys to read their mind. Freaking like telepathy, dude, I swear to God, this is like, this is the thing in real life too. It's like, dude, like you need to fucking try to work your way to, it's like, I, I genuinely don't know why you can't be so direct. Like, you just, like, don't play games. Like, you know, literally what he fucking said. Reasonably priced psychic, you know. Is I have an idea. Okay, what's the idea? It's probably something stupid. And I'm surprised he never, I, I really am surprised he genuinely never picked up on this. Because that'd be the first thing he's like, wait a second, you know, you you feel the same way too? Like, like who is that? Because again, he just told her, I guess he reciprocate. Said she... Okay, and then again, I guess he is he is bringing it up with her because at this point, it's like, okay, there's no holds barred. You know, he told her that. It's like, okay, you can kind of tell her everything else, except, you know, her home life. But I guess even then, you can really kind of tell her if you want to because it's not on the level of, oh, is that her dad's abusive, right? It's rather, she they just can't, you know, make ends meet. But it's like, again, you know, if you don't, you might as well just tell her everything. So again, it's like, I don't know. because But again, the problem being that it's this is a completely fucking stupid thing to be worried about, you know, from Natsuki's POV. Like, and it's it's basically borderline manipulation on her part. You got to call it out for what it is, right? You know, with with them being mutual friends and how much she knows that she means him and the time, you know, the just sheer amount of time they've known each other and have been friends and spent time with each other. Like, it's borderline manipulation for her to try and, like, get between that. Like, I genuinely don't know, like, what else. To, like, you got to call it out for what it is, right? You know, but again, it's like, well, if fucking she reciprocates, but it's like, again, and then this is what it comes down to, what she's saying there, because that's the, the dilemma, right? And what he needs to address and deal with. It's like, and in, in Yuri's route, it took him the whole fucking route to finally get around to it. But it's like, I mean, yeah, this, like, because this isn't what it should come to, obviously, from her POV, because presumably, and we know she, at this point, basically accepts that she can't go with him. So it's like, I guess, and uh, that he ended up with her. So technically, all's complete. Uh, you know, she can just go and fucking blow her brains out, right? But it's like, again, him, if if he genuinely actually cares about her, you know, and she means something to him, he would actually, like, stand up and stick up for her there, right? So, yeah, he's like... But again, the issue being, actions speak louder than words. You, It's easy to lie. It's easy to tell people what they want to hear. But what you do... It's completely different you know like you say this but does it is that really the case i mean it seems like he's if you're going to just let her do that right you know again you know it's like i can't emphasize enough how easy it is to just lie and tell people what they want to hear like this is in real life like it's very easy like you just 
like I don't know how else to put it. It's almost easier to just lie and tell people what they want to hear than like actually like say that like say the truth and like speak your mind. Like it, it's it's almost it's like so easy. Like I can't emphasize like it's just it, it's almost like like again, it's like I I have a problem with this, but it's like, you know, it's just so easy to do. You know, but it's like in you're doing it here, right? You know, it's like but at least you need that kind of self-awareness. Like you can't like delude yourself when you're doing it. And then be like, oh, I'm, I'm like, you need the self-awareness of, okay, you know, I'm telling her this, but I'm not going to do it. Cause that's what it seems like, you know, but at least accept that. Right. You know, don't try to delude yourself. Like either fucking make the change or don't, you know, but this is literally exactly what happens. Like, let's be really right. <laughs> this is literally exactly what happens. It happens in real life too, you know, you know, more often than not, but it's like, you know, this is, that's literally like, you're saying the opposite of what you're doing. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. And again, you know, cause this is the issue and we know that's ultimately it's going to come down to, but again, he needs to actually step up, you know, and stick up for himself and her and fucking strike a balance, you know? Yeah. Literally however fucking long, like, which is why I'm it's completely fucking stupid on her part. You know, and she's such an idiot and it's borderline manipulation and like almost like harassment there to try to get between them and try to like cut her off. It's like, dude, she's a mutual friend. This is how fucking long they've known each other and have been, you know, close friends for. Like, if you're really trying to just like get between that, like you're actually a fucking terrible person. Like, I don't care about your issues. You're a terrible person for that. Like, there's no like beating around the bush there literally this literally this I'm, I'm so fucking glad he's bringing this up because he's actually met this is a fucking fantastic point like literally this literally this like i don't know what else to say he's stating it here like there's no other like there's no other way to go about this there's no other way to pre view this and like see this 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 there's nothing else to it there literally but you need to actually go and do that he's making the point you know and this is literally like these two lines like that's just literally like i don't know what else to say that's what it is like that's what it comes down to you know like it's something to where it's like you know like that's the situation but the thing being you need to actually go and make that change right like you're saying this but that's literally what you're letting happen so Again, you know, you don't need to talk to her about it because that's the issue. You're letting yourself get stepped on. You know, you're letting yourself get all walked on there, right? You know, because by borderline manipulation and freaking harassment, you just need to stand up and stick up and be like, look, you know, I'm still going to spend time with her. You can't get between us. Like, you know, you, you just need to be like that because you're not even in. The, this is the issue. You're not even in one yet. You're not even in one yet. Like it, it's, that's even the cr more crazy and wild part. They're not even fucking a thing yet. You know, like, I don't know what else to say. Like you just need to stand up and stick up for yourself because it's about saying precedent. You know, if you let this happen, what's the, the next thing, right? You know, and again, but we know why we know. Cause you know, this uh, line here, the relatable line, uh, you know, again, right what would you call it uh this line is referring to but obviously he never picked up on it so and again we can see what's about to happen here i just look at her face but <clears throat> but obviously not to that level like the way he views her is different from how she views him and that's the inherent you know a uh, conflict there right in the inherent issue because now we at least know through what he said she both she well he doesn't know but what she knows now is that they'll never be aligned you know, and he'll eventually figure it out, presumably, but again, that's the inherent issue and problem there, as you can see. But again, it's like, because obviously we know that's not what, it, it can't, that's just an inherent paradox, right? Or not, not paradox, what would you call it? You know, it's an inherent uh, conflict of interest, or there's a better term. It's inherent, you know, there's a term where it's like two things just can't, you know, I, I don't remember, I don't remember. It's a good time to end it anyway that we've reached uh this point well it's like what's what's the term it's gonna bother me it's an inherent uh i guess misalignment like oh my god fucking fat ass <laughs> like 
and again. I mean, and so now we've skipped to this part. So now is a good time to end it. We said that for the next one again. You know, I'm honestly surprised he actually brought up, but I'm also, you know, it makes sense. But again, the issue being now what that's doing is that's confirming to her that okay, you know, that unfortunately they can't be a thing. That's just kind of the reality of it. But with that, I don't really have anything else to say. I think that's it for this one again. Forty minutes, perfect. And then in the next part, we'll go through this, and it'll be interesting to see if you know he ends up trying to like actually ask her out who knows there but with that i don't really have anything else so yep that's it for this one see you in the next one